Alrighty, so today we are pressure washing this driveway and then we are coming back to sand it and seal it the following day as long as everything is dry and good to go. Not a very big driveway, but walkway to the front door. We won't be pressure washing that front tile entry, just the pavers. And then he has some spare pavers here because there is some stains over here from irrigation leaking onto it. You can see some white stuff. So I'm gonna try and get that out with maybe some efflorescence cleaner or some uh, xylene and we'll see if that works. If it doesn't work, we will replace them. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the time lapse. I'm gonna hook up pressure washer and everything, get it all ready and then set up a time lapse to wash this thing and then that'll be it for today and tomorrow. I'll get the GoPro strapped up and film sealing this bad boy up. So without further ado, let's get to it. at this driveway that I pressure washed a couple days ago. And uh, Ethan's working on this scratch line that you can barely see. It runs through here. Moving, turning the pavers different ways so it isn't as noticeable. And uh, I got a little bit then I need to pressure wash. The mower guys came yesterday. And of course, tire tracks are on the driveway now. So, gotta fix that. And then I'm gonna get out some more of this white staining that is on the pavers here. And then we can get to sweeping in the polymeric sand and then sealing it. start there brand new tank yeah that's the one that I got the other day Mary. nice
Oh. The button's gone on this thing. We need some type of lighter. Cause that don't click. I might have one in my truck. Got one! Time to put some polymeric sand down. So with this stuff you got to be very careful to not put it on a damp surface and you got to be very careful to clean it all off with your blower <coughs> Woo! there's a lot of silica dust in this stuff might make you sneeze a little bit but you want to clean it off really good out of these cracks because when you wet it down it hardens up like concrete and so <coughs> what you don't want is something like this a crack that's too filled up like that you want to make sure you get down to bare minimum sticking out of the bevels so you want to sweep it really good and you want to blow it off really good because if you don't blow it off well and there's polymeric sand on top of the pavers you walk out on your pavers barefoot it'll feel like sandpaper so definitely gotta take your time with this stuff and do it the right way and the reason we're using gray polymeric sand on this paver I normally would never do this but it is what the pavers had originally was gray polymeric sand and so there is some staining in some of the cracks so you can't just switch to a tan polymeric sand when you got some old leftover gray polymeric sand in the cracks you gotta go with what was originally there
Yeah, you can cut it. Now it's time to blow it all off. This is a very important part. You don't just want to go crazy with the blower and blow every grain of sand that you just put in there. You just want to coast over everything. Make sure you get it out of the bevels if there's any thick bevels that you filled sand with. You don't want them sitting on top of the pavers. The blower is mostly to get the dust, silica dust from the polymeric sand off of your pavers. Because like I said before, if you just start wetting it down after sweeping it, you're gonna get that sandpaper feel and your customer is not gonna be happy. So make sure you take your time doing this getting all that dust out of there your customer will be very grateful Shimmy Shine begins. Yeah. You just chill. That's what he wouldn't move. Perfect. Yep. Make the whole thing purple. So the sealer that we are using is called Technoseal. And I actually went to a class um, about an hour away from me is where the company's based out of. And they had a uh, certificate class to come and learn how to use this sealer. And so I went up there because I heard a lot of good things about this sealer. Went up there, took the class and uh i like it i mean it's a really good sealer it's a two-part sealer well really it's a three-part sealer because you mix it with water so you have the base white uh sealer and then there's a bucket inside that is a very sticky type material and that's what gives it the shine so you'll see when we're done sealing this that it has a shine to it almost like an acrylic base sealer and I don't normally like to use acrylic based sealers. Uh, the conditions have to be dry and perfect or else you could cause like some bad efflorescence happening in the pavers and stuff like that. So it's a little risky in Florida using acrylic sealers. I mean, you really gotta plan it out right whenever you're doing it. Make sure there's not gonna be much, um, no, I mean, really, no weather in the forecast. You don't want any morning dew and stuff like that, or else it could ruin your seal job. So I like to use water-based sealers, and this is by far the best water-based sealer that I've found, and also the best water-based sealer to get that shine that a lot of customers look for in an acrylic-based sealer. So this is my go-to sealer, really. As you can see here, I'm doing circular motion while I'm spraying. 
And circular motion is key because if you just start doing fan stripes, you will actually be able to see that in the end product. Um, I've had that happen to me before when I first started sealing out driveways. I just went back and forth, back and forth as in like streaks. And whenever you put a little bit more on than the other streak and stuff like that, you'll be able to tell. So one thing I learned in that sealer class I went to is always spray in a circular motion. And since I've been doing that, I have yet to see a streak in the sealer. So that is definitely the way to go. Always do a circular motion when you are spraying. Close, but no, this is all right. NASCAR pit crew. Same one. Yeah. All right, you're good. Just one of these? Yep. We'll do three water. folks we are in a shito two coats of sealer on here she shined up pretty good Two thick coats. That's what we did on this. She's looking good. No back roll needed if you can work the sprayer. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean up and get on out of here. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> 